Hello, this is Angela again, and today I was thinking about how to be successful in a time with the coronavirus, because the income is decreasing, and there is a lot of hunger and a lot of misery in this world. But we have uh, the word of, of our dear Lord Jesus Christ. He is helping us, and you can trust him. I don't know how, but he knows. And before I begin, I want to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your kindness and greatness and abundant mercy you are giving us every day. I ask you now for your Holy Spirit, for me and for all who are listening, to see what you are promising us. These are promises on conditions, but when we do it, you will keep your promises. This is as sure as our world is in existence. I will praise thee. In our dear Lord Jesus Christ's name, Amen. I heard of a brother, he wants to have some chicken and wants to grow them and to, to get more, to help some widows and orphans to sustain them. And possibly we also had to earn not much but more money to save it and to buy perhaps a piece of land or to develop um, the well that uh, there are coming some solar cells to this well that it is working in the future. And then I was thinking on Malachi 3. You can study the whole chapter. It is really good. But I want to begin from verse 7. The Lord is said about us. Even from the days of your fathers ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. And now it comes. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And what is going on when we are giving the Lord our tithe? Let's see in verse 11. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your wine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. This is a big thing. When I began to pay my tithe, I was thinking, oof, we don't have money. But I thought, okay, I will try it out. And I did it, and the Lord was blessing us. The shoes were holding longer. I found some cheap things in second-hand shops that we could survive, and always the money was enough. Sometimes I had to wait for one or two weeks to get the things I wanted to have. But the Lord, He has given me all the things I needed. I can remember when many years ago when our children were small, in a shoe shop, I saw a pair of shoes, and I liked it so much. I wanted to have it, but then I forgot all about it. Then one day, on an open place, like a marketplace for second-hand stuff, I found the same pair of shoes, and it cost me only half dollar. And the shoes they cost in the shoe shop, I think, perhaps 10, 20, 30 times as much. I was so happy. And I feel so blessed. Now I will tell you how you can become more successful. I will read Exodus chapter 20. And I know many of you, you know it. But perhaps there is some astonishing thing in it you will see. Let's keep on going. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, and he is doing the same today with us. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. 
Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless, that taketh his name in vain. And I'm thinking on, we don't have, we are not allowed to have other gods besides of the Lord. It is just in case something is more dear to me than the Lord. This is another God in the eyes of the Lord. We have to think about it. It can be money, it can be power, it can be influence, it can be a person, a very dear one person. Or it can be some other thing, some place. Or some things which are very, very hurtful. Alcohol or eating and eating. And having so much fun with some things which the Lord doesn't like. I am continuing. The fourth commandment is, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. This is the only commandment which is hallowed. It is a special one. When I read it the first time in my life, I was astonished. I thought, whoops, what's that? We will come to a later point of time to this to find out what that means. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. How easy it is to cover something when we see that a dear friend gets a really nice new car or really nice new thing which we also want to have and we don't have the money but the Lord is really helping us and we can ask him dear Lord help me I don't know what my car or my vehicle or my bicycle is broken I can't afford a new one help me when we're keeping these words with the help of the Lord, because we can't do it by our own, then we will get a really blessing, a big blessing. And this will make our life successful, even if we don't have money. It is in Deuteronomy chapter 28, when we are doing, keeping the word of the Lord of the Ten Commandments. And it is worthwhile to study the Old Testament and also the books of Moses and also the Psalms. You will see they are so rich. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. 
The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thy hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee in holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hands. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kin and the flocks of thy sheep, and so on and so on. But the Lord is good. We can ask him, Dear Lord Jesus, help me to keep thy commandments. Help me to live to your glory. Help me to become a man or a woman after thy wish, how you want me to be. Help me to do all these things because I can't do it by my own. And he will bless you. I know it. And he will keep you in his loving hands. Thank you very much for listening. I won't finish with a little word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your loving kindness that you want to bless us, that we can put us in your loving, kindly hands, that you will shelter us and save us for all the bad things which are in these worlds, for the evil demons which are around who want to disturb us and to make pain in our hearts. Help us that we come very close to you and make people out of us as you want us to be and help us to keep your word and let's studying it with an eagerness because thy word is a light unto my feet. It is in Psalm 119, but I think you know this verse. In Jesus' name, Amen.